Yo, what's up guys? This is Astromax and I'm back for another Epic 7 video and I uh, want to uh, do Wyvern Stage 8. I've done it already. Let's see uh, what happens. So, because the first wave takes a while, you could just leave it on auto. Obviously, this is not the optimal way to do it, but uh, like Silk didn't even use speed. Ras, I mean, he goes with his ultimate first. Uh, if you manual use Silk speed, and then Ras, you would just uh, use skill two to have uh, turn our guard, dual attack, uh, proc, get uh, combat readiness for your team, and uh, you could ma like manual it but, uh, near the end. But the thing is, if you fail, you can just yield. You can just go in the menu, yield, and you don't lose anything. So that, that's really cool. So now, uh, Speed on Silk will not be ready. Unless I somehow bypass time, but... Uh, our guard is just gonna kill the end. So yeah, it's better to just manual the whole thing. Actually, it should be fine now. Because uh, you get minus one turn uh, between battles. You get minus one turn on your cooldowns. That landed. Oh, you don't. You don't get minus one turn. It's fine. I can just burn. Oh, wait. Yeah. Burn this. Now I have this. Now I can burn this. Have the assist. Now defense down isn't target, but this is not ready. That's the thing, though. It's better to just have it manual, really, the, the whole time. Or, like I said on the other video, just turn off all skills. Uh, do wave 1 if you can do it. Uh, but it's gonna require some... Uh, some RNG, maybe. Like, uh, what if the ads, they decide to go crazy and just take out your your Silk, your uh, Tiaria. Now I can use skill 3. Try to absorb, uh, you see the, the wyvern is gonna go, let's see if I can push him back. Resistance. I get resistance so often with this thing, it's crazy. Okay, so Silk went first, now she can push back his combat readiness, but I mean, Earth versus Fire, it's unlikely, but it can happen. Resistance. The wyvern is debuffed, so it's all good. Now the wyvern needs to go uh, two more times until he, uh, for him to do the barrier. So I'm just, uh, you know, I don't have I don't have soul burn now because I did not manual wave one. But this kind of shows you if if your run is uh, like if stuff is not landing and if. You're unlucky, basically. What it could look like. Yeah, so that's it. Now let's manual. Let's manual this. Enough the skills. Now this should be ready. Five turn. The the ad in the back is is a problem. Uh, it seems like the ad in the back, the bigger one, deals the most damage. So I can use this to try to take him out as fast as possible. 
And now Tarnar Guard goes again. And with the fence down, uh, he can kill it with skill 1. Don't need to, uh, to use this. This is on a 5 turn cooldown. So it is actually better to use it now because uh, we can have it ready for Wyvern. <laughs> and I mean, the combat readiness on uh, Tarnar Guard, he did absorb maybe a bit. His combat readiness uh, advanced. Uh, let's. This this one, like if you decide which one you're gonna target, well, target the one that doesn't have speed down. I could use Raz Ultimate, not like it's gonna do much, but I won't. Oh, wait. If you want to build up your souls, because this is one soul, this is three souls, that's another. Plus. Two souls, one soul. So this will build more souls. Let's go ahead and do it. And uh, let's just take the back one. If you're beefy enough, oh, you see, well, that that's a rip right there. That is a rip. Silk is super low too. I doubt this gonna work out in the end. <clears throat> Just save her skill uh, three. Now the dragon, the wyvern is gonna go first because I don't have Tiaria to come in. Uh, oh, that that is very close, like. The wyvern's at 96. Basically, I'm gonna die. But if the speed down lands, which it don't doesn't, turn our guard can tank two uh, two hits if you six star him and use the life steal set. I'll burn this. Defense down. Got applied. Let's use this now. Resistance. Oh, I've got to build up my souls. See, Tarnar Guard is leeching back. So it's not too bad. Now we still have two souls because. Manual the uh, the first uh, the first wave. The boss is gonna do the uh, the tail swing. I could no Tarnar guard is too far behind because the wyvern is ninety four percent. Like this is. This is gonna get resisted, like, yeah. Oh, the assist, wow. The assist, though. <laughs> wow, okay. So, like, if your run is not working out, if, you, if you're gonna die, just yield. This is to craft a uh, tier 6. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the gear, but as free to play, you're, you're kind of ha gonna have to manual early on if you want to do higher content. Because in the last video I didn't show the gear properly. 
but yeah like silk you can have uh another hero beside her because she's she's earth and fire counters earth so she could really take a lot of damage and just get destroyed early uh tiaria i'm planning to six star tiaria as my second six star uh i'm not rushing six star like a lot of people uh Tarnar guard was worth six starring but to me there there's no big rush it it mostly ups the survival uh, but uh, farming for for items was uh, a bigger priority for me especially after the, if you farm before the patch and then there's the double drop rate for the fathers and uh, you kind of like wasted a bunch of uh, sky stones and then the drop rate got doubled and yeah so I'm glad I did not uh, farm too much so you can pause if I go too quick. So Tarnar Guard, I like I like him on Life Steal. Really like him on Night Life Steal uh, Crit. You could go Life Steal uh, Hit. You could go with uh, I'm using this artifact. It's only three star. Very uh, good. You could. Uh, this is on my Carmen Rose. You could use this Sending Axe. Uh, this is between 5% and 10% crit uh, chance increase when you do land a critical hit. So you have time to build this up. Uh, three stacks before the wyvern and uh, or whatever you're fighting. So you could get 30% crit and then you have elemental advantage. Uh, in this game, I'm not sure if it's, uh, if it's 15% but to me it looks like Tarnar Guard is all, always critting. So uh, it could be like 20 to 25% crit chance bonus against elemental advantage. Um, so I would say, yeah, you could have 50% crit. You use the, uh, the ar that ar artifact and then have elemental advantage and you're like 100% crit. So you could go life steal and hit uh, if you want to do it uh, with the same setup. Because you need the life steal for turn our guard to survive. Uh, if you don't go life steal, well, uh, you're gonna need someone to tank, uh, maybe uh, at least uh, uh, Elson to bring some some healing, or you could have someone else tank uh, that has the life steal set. But anyways, this is my setup, and this is what's working out for me. And I'm using what I got, and this is very free to play friendly. Uh, Silk, you normally go speed on her, uh, speed crit, speed hit. You want as much effectiveness as possible, but I just went pure damage with her. Uh, this is the gear I had on my Sez, and then I used on my uh, Lorena, and then I used on Carmen Rose. Uh, we got this. We got this for free uh, in normal uh, adventures, like chapter eight or nine, something like that. So that that's really good for her for free to play. Uh, you want Infinity Basket for Star, if. Uh, if you if you have it use that because it will uh, what is it? it will increase the dual attack chance for uh, Tarnar guard well anyone in the crew but yeah Tarnar guard of course is gonna have higher dual attack chance and it deals more damage too so that's that's a major plus And uh, wait, uh, was I? You can pause if I go too quick. Silk, you want to enhance her, her uh, third skill, of course. And uh, well, mine is not. <clears throat> As you saw, it would have been helpful in between the stages, uh, the waves. But I will definitely work on uh, getting that unlocked. Tarnar Guard, you want. Uh, this for 75% chance and then you can start working on this because it's cheap or you could do a bit here a bit here but I think rushing 75% is totally worth it you get uh, uh, Mola Gora Go uh, from the Abyss you get two so that's one for the 15% effect chance don't go for the damage increase because you're gonna take another uh, Mola Gora uh, Go and use that for 
uh, so, someone else's, like, uh, I don't remember exactly if Elson, the minus one turn, required it, but in my group right now, I'm not using Elson. I did use Elson uh, multiple times. Uh, m most of my gameplay have been with Elson. Yeah, small Agora go. So, yeah. I mean, his friendship is irreplaceable. He's maxed, so as you can see, I've used him quite a bit. Tarnar Guard as well. Uh, Tiara is getting there, almost 10. Silk, I barely used her really because uh, I was farming Wyvern, but uh, I'm making her work in this group, so it's it's working out. Uh, Tiara's uh, gear. So Tiara, of course you want speed. Speed and hit for her, you want her to go first to boost the uh, combat readiness of your uh, of your team with this and for her ultimate if you manual you could go for the minus one turn cooldown uh, actually well the most helpful thing is going to be the hundred percent chance but you're, you're running Tarnar guard with the uh, with Rath as uh, well that that triggers the dual attack so you have multiple chances to land defense down so you've got Tiaria if that fails uh, there is you still goes maybe speed down on the boss and then you have uh, you have Ras that goes before Tarnar guard and then uh, maybe defense down applies there or maybe it's when he goes but yeah you have multiple chances to land a debuff so it's it's pretty good overall uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't use my resources on her she's very useful in pvp as well so if you have 100 percent chance to land the defense down uh, assuming you don't get resisted uh, by, by uh, if you don't have enough effectiveness or if they do have effect resistance on them um, it's too big of an investment i believe because let's look at this the minus one turn okay it's Pad power loop, easy to farm, Molagora, uh, it's not requiring uh, Molagora go, wait a sec, okay wait, yeah this could be the second one that you do enhance, but I feel like really going for, yeah that that's, because you're going to have two Molagora go from the abyss. In your normal Molagora, you can get them for, you can use them for... Is it that? No, it's just three. So yeah, Tarnar Guard, you get the defense 75% uh, chance. And then... That's the thing though, most of the time I was using Elsen. And Elsen is so useful. You're gonna have to go for Elsen really. Like, I would go for Elson first, and then do, do Tarnar Guard, 75% uh, chance defense down. And then I would do Silk. And after that, it's like landing debuffs on skill 1 is, uh, is a bigger party when you auto, but if you manual, yeah, you could, uh, you could go with that. It's fine, I can buy Molagora Go. Uh, f for four Molagora in the labyrinth or five from the secret shop in the adventure and uh, Ras, well you just need to soul burn really you just so Ras is just easy you also get the extra stat from his memory imprint uh, by completing the, the adventure and uh, progressing in the game further in the world and uh, yeah, for his gear, damn. Uh, yeah, really, I just used Astina's gear, speed health, PvP gear here. Got this neck and I started to enhance it and it's actually becoming quite good. I know it's only rare, but it's T6 and like that main stat crit chance is quite high. So, worked out pretty good. Could be uh, very good for Silk later on when I put him on. Uh, when I put her on speed uh, crit or speed hit. But so far, this is gonna like th that's my setup. So Ras, you want him on? Uh, you don't need him 
to do damage really you, you just need to uh, soul burn this and uh, yeah just a bunch of speed and uh, health pvp set and you're good to go speed uh, speed on boots of course and uh, you don't have to worry about anything else effectiveness uh, effect resistance just make him tanky you could have some effect resistance yes if the the wyvern uh, attacks him but Tarnar Guard is better as the frontliner with life steal, and he counter ice counters fire, so he doesn't take that much damage. And I believe that is it. Uh, yeah, I spoke about the sets, showed the gear, uh, artifacts. Yeah, uh, Tarnar Guard like ancient sheet, but you could go with if you're lucky enough to have any of these artifacts Hell's Fist Increase hell, uh, as health decreases attack and speed goes up that thing is beautiful best 4 star damage uh, artifact for warriors 5 star you could go even more leech and you could take him off the lifesteal uh, set and have him go attack, uh, crit, attack, hit. Uh, you could go uh, triple, triple blade. Uh, you could, I mean, th there are so many different ways you could build him. Uh, not counter, the chance 20% is not good enough. Well, it's a possibility. Uh, you have to form Banshee for that. It's better to spend your time in Wyvern because speed is king, really. And uh, yeah, so next. So yeah, this thing is god tier, and this, well, you have to be attacked, but he is in the front line, so this could work. Uh, I'm not sure this versus the the one uh, the one he has now, or the uh, L's Fist. Mm. Yeah, I probably wouldn't use that. But Uberius too, this is for maximum damage really. This is gonna inflict so much damage. So yeah, life steal with that. Or uh, attack set, destruction set is end game uh, for 40% crit damage. Destruction crit with this. Or destruction crit with this and no life steal uh, if you want pure damage. Or attack crit with this. But yeah, that's it for this one guys. Uh, Infinity Basket on Silk. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's gonna take too long if I go over the other artifacts for the other heroes. Uh, you could use this for more speed. Uh, Daydream Joker on Tiaria for more damage. And, uh... What was Ras using? Oh yeah, he's using the thing if he gets hit to minus one turn. You could use this on Ras for more damage. And uh, you can use this for more speed on Tiaria as well. Yep. Easy uh, way to up your speed. And uh, that will be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. And this, you can put that on Wrath. OP, OP. Very good. It's gonna really rig damage to him if you make him more tanky, because that's pretty much all he needs speed and tankiness. Uh, this is going to be for PvP mostly. And, uh. Eh. Yeah. Could work. Yeah. I would use that. I would use that. Because he could go more with the uh, dual attacks. Uh, maybe. So, yeah, that's it. Peace out for now.